So Sarah, you told you you liked this piece. So tell me a little bit about what you like about this particular truck. Um, I like the um, I like how it has the sort of um, steps or yeah. like a ladder down the side, mm -hmm. and how they're like these little like ladder pieces and the lines going straight down. So if you if you were allowed to touch it, you would feel this like bumpy feeling yeah. if you like touch down. It's there. really rough, isn't it? Like it looks really rough. Which is pretty cool. I mean, but it, even though it's rough, it's got these like straight lines that go through it every right. now and then. Like right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Those lines. But then this is sort of curvy. Yeah, there's one little like that's a, a nice little I've never noticed that curvy line until you pointed that out. What else can you tell me about it? Um, that it was made of cast iron at a bathtub factory. That's pretty cool. So what do you, do you think this is heavy? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's really heavy. So. And this um, little ground part mm -hmm. right here is made of old tires. It is, yeah. yeah. Tell me more about it. What else can you tell me about this uh, truck? Um, that this was originally made of clay, mm -hmm. but then they put in a cast. Yeah, yeah, so it's cast iron, so they, they made a mold of this clay truck. So they made it out of clay first, and then made a mold of it, and then cast it in iron. It's a really cool process. It um, starts as this grayish color and mm -hmm. then turns brown as it yeah. dries. Sometimes in the art world we call that a patina. And a patina is like the surface qualities of it. So that reddish patina is a pretty cool color. Um, I think my favorite like view is from here where you can actually like see sort of inside the truck. Yeah, it's hollow in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's pretty cool. Is there anybody driving it? Uh, no. No, just just the truck, right? What else could you see? There's this little hollow spot right here. There's a hole over yeah. here. I can tell right here. Oh, there is, isn't there? Yeah. So you can see like all the way through There's it. There's in here too. And yeah. And right here. Yeah. So there's a couple of little details if we get really close. And then tell me about this side, like all the stuff going on here. This sort of looks like a gun sticking out. Like it, it has this little army tank gun. Yeah. And um. I don't actually know what these are supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, like, have you ever seen a truck with stuff on the hood like that sticking up? Those are pretty big to have on your on your hood. <laughs> and I like these sort of, like, steps. If there was, like, these little tiny people who could drive it, there could be, like, tons <laughs> of people who were, like, saying yeah. here and here. It could be, like, this entire, like, moving concert on wheels. <laughs> You'd have to, like, run all over these, like, little steps and everywhere. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Can cool. we, like, can we tell what any of that stuff is? Or is it just sort of... Shapes. Sort of shapes. Yeah. But these are like, of course, our wheels. Yeah, we can make out the wheels, and we know that they're, they're wheels. Do you think that'd be a, a smooth ride on these wheels, or would it be kind of bumpy? Uh, probably bumpy. Yeah. Because look, there's a little, like, Yeah, here. there's a big chunk taken out of the top here. Why do you think John likes to make things, I don't know, a little bit different? Like, why make chunky wheels like that, instead of making, like, a really, like, accurate drawing of a, a truck? Because you don't want something to be exactly copied. You want your sort of own yeah. artwork. Yeah. Instead of like exactly the same as other things. My name is Sarah and this is Greek opera.